Welcome to Retro Rewind Gamer. We're doing Frogger, the original arcade version, if you couldn't tell. These are all kind of uh, lining up here. Uh, we did do uh, the PlayStation 1 version back in Series 1, me and my kids. It was uh, definitely an interesting uh, go around. <clears throat> we were not very good. I could get to level 3. Uh, the third stage there. Uh, we never really got uh, the newer levels, but uh, we're going to see what we can do here. And I'll try not to crash, but this is much different from the PS1 version that I'm used to. Alright, so we got one in. You see things just move quite a bit faster in some areas. And we got the corners taken care of. That's a good thing. Oh, that was close. Not quite the way I drew that one up, but I'll take it. Nonetheless. No, not the divers. Come on. Okay, that was close. That was close. And we got a bonus. So we'll get this one and we can get through to stage two, which we did. Yay! Now you can see it gets harder, it's not even close to like this on the PS1 version yet. Everything is moving like so much faster. And you got the alligators already coming out. So I like to bring you guys uh, occasionally the our old arcade games as well as the video games. Come on! Oh, I get those close. I almost went off the screen. Where's the other? Come on, log. I need the log. Thank you. Oh, I was lined up. At least I thought I was lined up. Oops. And just like that, we're going to be down game over, but we did get a high score. So, that's a good thing. We're going to do a few <clears throat> run-throughs of this one. I, we did do, like I said, the first, the PS1 Frogger back in Series 1. Uh, we did uh, <clears throat> the main classic levels, which are graphically enhanced, but also uh, we did some of the newer levels. And like I said, the newer levels were much, much harder. And we'll see if I can go this time further without dying. <clears throat> Excuse me, because... Oh, that was close. Um, like I said, in the PS1 version, I can at least get to the third level. After the third level, it's really a stretch. Here, I don't know how far I could go. Let's see... This doesn't, this isn't really too bad. Oh, barely. <clears throat> now let me know what your thoughts are on, <clears throat> you know, this version. Oh, I was lined up again. It did it to me again. Why? I was lined up with the lily pad. So I don't know, if you haven't seen the, the PS1 version, <clears throat> go back uh, to Series 1 and check it out. Um, and then, obviously, I mean, comparing it to this graphically, there, there really is no comparison. Uh, but <clears throat> those of you who remember, obviously, the uh, arcade, I better get out of there, and I couldn't. So I don't think I'm going to get through this. Nope. It's so funny when you die, it sounds like the ice cream truck. <laughs> I don't know about you, if you've noticed that or picked that up, but it sounds when 
when you get smushed or when you die, it sounds like like the ice cream truck's coming. And maybe that worked for the arcades. I don't know. Come on, turtles. No, not the divers. Alright, so I got my little bonus. I'm not even sure if you get free guys in this version. I don't think I've gotten one yet. Divers don't want them. See, it did that again. I was lined up at the lily pad. I'm calling shenanigans here because that was just horrible. So let, let's see. Let's take a quick break and see if there's actually... Do you get a free guy at all in this game? I mean, I know like the classic arcade games and the old Atari games were very difficult to get that in, but I want to see. Um, and Unfortunately, we have to wait for all these guys to line up and then jump up and spell out Frogger and then it'll let us know what we get. So let's see as it finishes spelling out point table. So here we go. 10 points for each step. 50 points for every frog arrived home safely. 1,000 points by saving frogs. Plus bonus. So yeah, you don't get a free guy. 4860, that's my high. Um, what, is that, what was I going to say? One extra frog, 20,000 points. I wasn't even a fourth of the way there. I don't know how many coins I wasted at the arcade. Oh! My controller, like, froze up on me there. Alright, so we got a little bit of an extra bonus. In the comments below, uh, what do you remember most about this game, and how much did you play at the arcade? Because I know I played a ton. Oh! When I was a kid. Obviously, I'm not so much a kid now. I'm a kid at heart, but... Oh, not divers. Come on, give me turtles. Because I'm already on my last guy. Uh-oh. Better jump back. That was close. Re oh! So I can't even get to 5,000 points, let alone to 20,000. So this is going to be a short video. We're going to do probably a few more go-arounds um, just for nostalgia and going down memory lane. Um, I like doing that. I like showcasing the, uh, the retro games, the things that, the ones that, bring back the memories for for me uh, oh I jumped too early and maybe for you guys as well um, not divers and I was in a bit of a hurry you can say how bad I am at this that's fine because uh, this is not a game that I normally play anymore But one that I will, because I know my my kids love this game. They love the PS1 version. They love this version. They love every version, really, of Frogger. Except probably the new levels, just because we haven't figured them out yet. And <clears throat> we're trying to, we just haven't. Ooh, can I get that extra bonus? Yes! So I'm almost to the high score. The only problem is, I'm on my last guy already. And we're only to really level 2, and level 2 is really insanely difficult here with those race cars. And everything just seems to speed along so much faster. I 
and say if alligator better not pop up there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Nuts. Oh, I was lined up. That would have been the high score. Oh, did that ever happen to you in the arcade? Because I'm sure it happened to me. And frustrating when you are all lined up on the lily pad and it says you're not. That's really annoying. But those old arcade games, they just had a way of getting under your skin. And in the comments below, uh, you know, tell me some of your great memories of this game, um, other arcade games that you liked to play. Because I, I got a lot of them that are going to be... <clears throat> oh, I jumped early. Um, I'm going to be featuring uh, here on the channel. Just because, again, that's really what this is about retro gaming um, I think in some ways a lot of the new games as well as as good as they are they rely so much on the graphics and a lot of games don't really have to me they don't have the challenge factor anymore where this was all I mean all hand-eye coordination so yay, I'm getting close to the high score. And I still have another guy left after this, but this is the challenge. Okay, so we made it through there. And those turtles go like 50 miles an hour. So we got the corner one taken care of there. All right. Yay, high score. So we're working our way to 5,000 points. Whoa, that was close. That was close. We got 5,000, but we didn't, again, we're, we need 20,000 to get a free guy which is just insane. Oh, I couldn't get out of the way fast enough. Last guy. See, there's that ice cream man music. And I went too fast again. 5,700. Not totally bad. Not really, really good. Um, we'll do maybe two more go-arounds. If there's an arcade game uh, or classic uh, arcade or video game, Oh, I, I was there. I was lined up. Give me a break. If there's a classic game, <clears throat> or arcade, or video game that, that you'd like to see featured um, when, t when we're taking a break from the RPG, uh, leave it in the comments below. Um, I would love to hear from you. Uh, if I have it, I will definitely um, showcase it on the channel because I love these games. They're all. Oh, they're great family games, too. I mean, this is something that, like, you, you could have the whole family really play. And that's, you know, something I think a lot of is missing in a lot of games now. And again, we, we rely, I think, more now on the eye candy and the graphics, and we tend to, you know, we tend to look at these games now as being like really primitive and kind of like what did we see in them and then we actually play them and again and it's it's like oh now i remember it's the challenge it's the fact that level two is just is harder here than level three on the ps1 version That was close. That was too close. And that alligator mouth better not be coming back up in the corner. Okay. 
Again, we are on the last guy. Nope. <clears throat> Those two cars in that fourth row are doing me in. They do me in. I don't like that. So one more shot, I think, um, just to kind of keep the video on the short side. Uh, try to get to level three because I almost got smushed by that truck. Other question, um, and I don't, I'm not sure if I asked this in the the PS1 version uh, that we did, but why is it that you die if the frog goes into the water? Frogs can swim. So why does the frog die when you go into water? If you have any comments on that, let me know. Because I'd love to, uh, I'd love to figure that one out. Uh oh, that was close. And at least they're not divers. Uh oh, divers. Okay. Those middle logs move too quick for me. So we did round one, we did level one without dying. Now, can we do level two and actually complete it? That's the question. Nope, there we go, dying already. Not even past the cars. There we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Off the screen. So here we go. Last guy already. No way. Okay. One more. One more. I'm, I'm determined to get at least a guy in a lily pad on level two. It's going to happen. Has to happen. Ooh, that was close. In the PS1 version, they probably would have said that you missed it and you would have ended up in the water and drowned, which, again, I still don't quite get, but... I guess if you could just, like, skip across the water, it'd be too easy. Probably should have jumped on that one log. There we go. See, level one is not a problem at all. Oh, and then I spoke too soon. And went down. Don't disappear. Oh, he did. Alright, so can I at least top 5,700? That would be pretty good. You have to be really, really quick along that road. Alright, so we know we're not going there. And now, okay, we went in the other corner, I was gonna say. So we got, we got a guy up there. Which I think we've done, or I've done, before, but... Those cars and that road, that... Oh! Last guy. And I don't think I'm going to have what it takes. Nope. So, I'm going to have to end it here just because it's getting embarrassing. But again, um, you know, drop your comments below. Let me know uh, your memories of this game. Uh, go, Especially if you grew up on this in the arcade game, in the arcade era, or on the Atari, whatever. Um, <clears throat> let me know, uh, you know, give me some of your, uh, your memories and, you know, how much money you think you spent on this game, because I know I spent quite a bit on it. 
Um, also, again, if there's any other uh, retro uh, arcade or video games uh, that you'd like to see featured, uh, let me know. Uh, Konami was not uh, my friend tonight, um, <clears throat> but oh well, it happens. But uh, again, drop your comments below. Uh, as always, please uh, like the video. Uh, it's free for you, helps me out. Um, let's me know what you want to see more of, what you want to see less of, that kind of thing. Um, also, uh, please subscribe and spread the word. Um, and until I, I thank you uh, for watching, and until next time, I will see you later. Bye bye.